Okay, are you ready for it? Micro contrast doesn't exist, my ass. Um, on the left over here, we have the Nikon D850 standard. It was uh, shot manual with the exact same lighting, exact same lens on both. On the right, we have monochrome conversion from LDP Dan at MaxMax. Dot com. Now, first thing you're going to say is this image on the right looks a little overexposed. And this was shot at 1 60th of a second, and this was shot at 1 40th of a second, both shot at base ISO 100. I have three images below full blown enormous TIFF files for you to download. So we'll take a look at them. Um, actually, I'm going to upload. Uh, the NEF files uh, for you uh, to take a look at since the TIFF files are absolutely enormous. The links will be below. Now this was shot at 1 60th of a second so why can't I shoot the monochrome image over here on the right at 1 40th of a second like I did over here. Like I said both are using the 105mm F2 DC NIC core, same lighting, same distance, exact same lens, the switch between cameras and 1 40th of a second I actually blew my highlights and the reason for that, and this is shot at 1 60th of a second and is tamed down a little bit even at 1 60th is because uh, the monochrome is actually letting in about a stop and a half more light so at 1 40th it's just too bright. Obviously you can see some sensor spots up here on the top which are in the bottom of uh, the sensor so he certainly missed those sensor spots. Um, <clears throat> to get the, a shot looks uh, nearly identical to the conventional D850 I had to shoot the uh, Nikon D850 monochrome, which is right here at 1 100th of a second, to get it roughly about the same. But let's take a look here, importantly. Um, both base ISO 100, not base ISO, but excuse me, ISO 100 on the Nikon D850. Take a look, <clears throat> exact same lighting, everything's identical. Look at what we have here at 1 60th of a second, how much more information we have here in the shadows than we have here on the standard D850 here on uh, the left. Look at uh, these ridges on this uh, sea urchin and the detail and uh, how much more light we're getting to the sensor because the color filter array is not here on the monochrome. Let me point out something else very important to, to remove the color filter array. He had to move the micro lens array that sits over top of the color filter array which focuses the light. So make this very very important point in your head. The monochrome sensor is crippled by not having a, a micro lens array over top of the sensor to focus the light into uh, the photo sites. But even though it is crippled by not having a micro lens array, it still is getting more light than the uh, regular D850 here on the left, even at a faster shutter speed of 1 60th as opposed to 140, uh, 1 40th of a second, and that's also too tamed down. So now let's uh, get uh, on to the important thing on image fidelity here. Let's uh, take a look, and this is the monochrome shot at 1 100th of a second, okay? Straight out of camera, and let's take a look at the exact same spot on the uh, regular Nikon uh, D850 over here on uh, the left. Let's zoom in to make them about the same. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right, right, right. Let's zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Right about there. Now take a look at this patch right here. This patch on the exact same uh, side of the patch over here. You see all, it's like, well, this is out of focus. No, it's not. The focus is perfect. The focus is right here, actually, on both uh, shots, right here. Now, look at this. Look at how uh, you just actually have some mid grays and some, uh, some light areas on the driftwood here. But look at all the, there's another really large uh, photography channel that recently, I think it was a week ago, said, Michael Contrast doesn't exist. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, take a look at the tonality up here and the, the top part of it. You see how stark white this looks? Well, it's not stark white. But you see how bleached and white and pale this piece of the wood is right up here around this hole? And now look at the tonality and the depth. This is why Zeiss calls it Zeiss Pop. 
image pop, micro contrast, image fidelity, image pop. You see this? You see all of these fine uh, tonal gradations? Yeah, let's actually take a look at another uh, part of uh, the shot. You, you see that? You see the difference? You see how bleached and uh, lacking in tonality we have here and over here? Yeah, and this was shot at 1 100th of a second just to tone it down because the sensor is receiving more light. But it's also crippled due to the lack of la uh, missing, not having a micro lens array. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, do you see this? Do you see like the tonality right here? You see that? You see how much more? It's like, well, this almost looks out of focus. It's, about, it's not. Not. The focus is the same spot. Multiple shots. This is, this is correct. It's in focus. This just looks crisper and more defined and jumps out at you more than this spot right over here. Yeah, that's because more low gain intertonal detail. Yes, girlfriend, micro contrast is absolutely real. I'm going to have the uh, three NEF files corresponding um, to this. Uh, just remember that image number 1780 is from the uh, standard uh, Nikon D850, conventional one. But do you see this spot here in the center on both of these? You see that? I mean, do you see how stark this is? Do you see all the tonal gradations up here in the shadows? Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh... It's, uh, it's pronounced. The word we're looking for is pronounced. Yes. So I had to uh, take a faster shutter speed at 1 100th of a second, and I still got more information in the shadows at 1 100th as opposed to 1 40th of a second on a standard Nikon D850 here on uh, the left. Yes, indeed. Yes, that's, that's correct. Uh, anyway, Thanks a bunch uh, for watching, and the uh, links to the images are below. Repeat after me, image fidelity. Yes, micro contrast is real. All the fools on the YouTube channels that are clueless, that doesn't know how a sensor works or uh, what image fidelity is, still, still clueless. Thank you.